Hi and welcome to the Azam Shop channel on YouTube. I'm your host Mohamed Azam with another great screencast and this time we'll be talking about the SpriteKit framework which is introduced by Apple in iOS 7. SpriteKit allows you to create games and that is uh, by Apple. So you, if you have been watching previous videos, I, have, I do have some videos on learning Coco's 2D framework. So SpriteKit was inspired by Cocos 2D. So if you have done any Cocos 2D programming, you will find right at home with the SpriteKit framework. Now, the best way to learn a framework is to just start with it and create a game with it. Um, and I can actually show you what we will be creating. So let's go ahead and let me run this application. So this is the one that we will be creating a game. It's a sheep just running across. And I don't know if you can hear the sound, but it, uh, you know, it can jump and all that stuff. So we'll be creating this kind of game, all right? So let's get started. So if you go into File, New, Project, um, you will see that this is a Sprite Kit game template uh, that is introduced. So you can use that to create the basic template. And this is the basic template that I'm using. Our game will be called Sheep Jump. And if I run this, the first thing you will notice is, of course, that the, the game itself launches uh, in a portrait mode. And when I click, it just creates some planes which are revolving. Uh, we don't really want our app to run in the portrait mode. And we can easily set this up. So if I go over here, if I can remember where to have all that information. Okay. So here we go. We are just going to uncheck the portrait. All right. And let's launch it again. So now we are in the uh, landscape mode. Okay. There, uh, there are a couple of things we need to change to get it working in the landscape mode. First of all, let's delete these files, which are my scene and all that. We're going to add the scene ourselves. So I'm just going to delete those things. And let's compile it. It's going to give some problems, give errors, remove that. Okay, so we don't really have my scene. That's okay. All right. So we can remove all of those things from over here. Uh, unless you want to call it my scene which we don't. Okay, so currently view did, view did load is it, and if you run the app, it will always assume, I mean the the framework itself, the sprite kit will assume that you are actually running it in the portrait mode. And for that to work correctly, uh, for the landscape mode, all you need to do is to change the view did load method and replace it with view will layout subviews. Okay, and now we have to create a scene called main scene. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to say a new file. Um, and I'm going to explain what these things mean. Like what is a scene and all that stuff. So don't worry about that right now, okay? So here we go. We have a scene and we can import that scene over here. Main scene. Going back to view controller, let's build this. Sounds good. Let's run it. And here we go. So we have our first scene set up. You can see that it doesn't really display anything right now because we deleted the default scene that Apple lays out. Okay. So what exactly is a scene? What exactly is a SK scene? SK scene, of course, stands for Sprite Kit Scene. A scene is basically your application, your game will be comprised of different scenes and you can think of scenes in terms of different uh, you know menu option well not menu options but different aspects of the game that provide uh, so one scene can display uh, a menu for starting a game like play a game uh, high scores okay now when you click on the play a game you will see the game scene where the game actually runs when the game is over let's say you die then you will be going to the game over scene right and maybe there is an option for high scores in the you know to view all high scores so you click on that then a high score scene will be displayed 
and then you can see all the high scores. So a scene is basically a small component of the game, uh, which when all the scenes are combined together, then it makes the whole game with different options. Of course, the high score, the game over the main, main scene, the contact us screen, uh, you know, all these things. And the winning scenes, if you're, of course, if your game has an end, then you can also create the ending scene where everyone is happy. Okay, so that is a scene, but right now our scene is kind of lame. It doesn't really display anything. Uh, so let's go ahead and create some graphics. So I'm just going to copy some background uh, from a different file. Let's go over there. Here we go. So we have a background, nice hilly background, as you can see. Okay. And where is our scene class? Here's our scene class. I'm just going to move it over here so I can work on that scene class. All right. Now, everything in a scene, uh, you can do that in a in it with uh, in it with size method. OK, so let me go over and copy that. So this will be called whenever you initialize a scene. It calls a setup method. As you can see, there is no setup method. So let's go ahead and set it up. Here we go. In the setup, we can also say uh, self uh, setup background because we are setting up the background. And I'm just doing that so so that you will have easy way to, you know, it's all organized. The code is all organized and it's not, you're not implementing everything over here, which will be a bad idea, right? So everything should be nicely organized. Now in the setup, background scene, we are going to set up the background. We are going to add a background to the game. All right. And the background, as I've already told you, are these backgrounds. So background underscore one, we're going to use that. So let's go ahead and use a sprite, SK sprite node, and then SK sprite node. Uh, you have different options over here. We are going to use sprite node with image named and the image name is background underscore one. Okay. Um, and that's it. And then let's say add child and let's go ahead and add the, the background. And let's go ahead and run this application. And you can see that the background is added, but it's not covering the whole screen. So for this to work, what we are going to do is we are going to do different, uh, two different things. First of all, we are going to set up the position to zero coordinates. And then the second thing is the anchor point. We are going to position to zero. Let's go ahead and run it. And now, so anchor point is basically the point where you will anchor the scene. Okay. So let's go ahead. If I, if I don't do that. Okay. And if you, if you just want to check point make, so let's say 100 and if it's a zero. Okay. So you can see that X is 100, point is make, and the Y is zero over here, okay? So you're moving in one direction. So if I go ahead and change this to 500, so you can see it's now moving 500 over here. And Y is set up at zero. So you can change these coordinates just to see how it will look like on different cases. But in this case, we're going to bind it to the zero. And we're going to anchor point also at zero. There we go. All right. So the next option will be or the next thing it will be to set up the sprite or uh, add sheep to the game. But before we do that, well, let's see. Um, yeah, let's actually do that. Self add sheep to the game or just add sheep to background or to, to scene, whatever you want to call the method. Add sheep to scene. It's always nice to organize these things as I'm doing. Uh, SK sprite node, we are going to just declare a sheep as an instance variable. Okay. Uh, we don't really have the image for the sheep, so let's go ahead and get that. 
I'm going to get some images of sheep. Uh, let's see. Let's copy a couple of images over here. There we go. Okay. And we are going to say what? Sheep. Nope. Sheep equal to. And sheep is also a sprite. Now, what exactly is sprite? I think I didn't explain before. So sprite is everything else that you see on the screen. So a sheep can be a sprite. If the, you are building some sort of a spaceship game, a spaceship can be a sprite. An asteroid can be a sprite. A bullets can be sprite. Houses that you build can be sprite. Anything that else from the, uh, everything basically on the screen that you see is basically a sprite, even uh, including the background that you are setting, right? So let's say sheep walk one. And we are going to say, okay, self, add child, sheep. You do want to let's see the position of the sheep where you want to put it. Sheep dot position equal to point make. Uh, let's say that we want to put it self dot size dot width divided by four, and the height. Let's let's give it like twenty. Let's see where it where it lands. So here we go. Okay, let's go over here. It's raining outside, so you might be hearing some rain stuff. Thank you. Here, here we go. So we have the sheep now. Okay. And the same thing, and this will be the last thing for this particular tutorial. Uh, of course, I'm going to add more things to make the whole game. But for this part one, well, the last thing we're going to do is to add a foreground. Okay, since you saw in the uh, in the video that I showed you, and you can uh, check out on my YouTube channel about this sheep jump game, is the foreground, the background, they are actually moving. Okay, and we do want to do that. Uh, let's go ahead. Wow, it's really raining pretty, pretty bad outside. All right, foreground one, I think. Uh, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get the foreground so we're going to get those two images for retina display and the normal displays um, let's go ahead and add foreground over here here we go so this is a foreground that you can see much more greener and the hills are in the background uh, and everything, as you can see, is basically a sprite. It doesn't really do anything if I click or anything. Even everything is static. It doesn't really move. And that's part of the next tutorial. We are going to add some animation to the sheep. We are going to get the background and the foreground to move to have that parallax kind of effect. We're going to add some more option, uh, for some more features like uh, 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 a tree. We are going to add a moon. Uh, we're going to add some uh, clouds, uh, flowers, and everything to make the scenery much more nice, okay? So stay tuned for that. Now, once again, uh, all these videos, they take a lot of time to develop, okay? Uh, a lot of time to upload, a lot of time to develop, a lot of time of research to, to do these videos, and it takes time. Uh, and that's why, uh, you know, I need some uh, donations to keep this channel running, okay? I know you guys uh, really like this channel. I, I get reviews and I get emails from every one of you. So if you do want to donate, uh, please donate to PayPal uh, to azamsharp at gmail.com and any donation will be helpful to keep this channel rolling, to keep this channel running and to provide you with the best uh, iOS and other topic screencast uh, that is available online. Okay, thank you very much and stay tuned for more.